What is up crazy cats welcome back to the channel today I will be ranking the top 5 worst clones in Lego Star Wars history so without further ado let's get started Get a like comment and smash that subscribe button In 5th place is the 212th Umbaran Trooper. Appearing on only one set, the Umbaran Mobile Heavy Cannon in 2013, this fig figure is rather obscure, not only for its limited release, but also because of the fact that the classic orange of the 212th is gone and replaced with the yellow, making it a lot more like a 327th clone than a 212th clone. This is a somewhat understandable mistake because if you look at some of the images from the 212th on Umbera in the episode in the Clone Wars, their orange accents definitely turn a more yellow color because of the planet's bluish hue. For the first Phase 2 212 clone though, that it is a disappointing start to what would become such a beloved clone legion and a favorite one. Next up is the 2023 Phase 2 Commander Fox. Well, we have gotten Phase 1 Fox before, this is the first time we've gotten him in his Phase 2 armor. Only appearing in the Cardstock Guard gunship to date, this Fox variant has gotten a lot of hate. Um, as you can see, the major complaint that people have about this figure is the red um, print breeds into the white parts of the print, making it more, more pinkish color and ruining the figure. The bottom half of the chest plate is supposed to be red instead of white as well. In third place, we have the 2022 12th Trooper, appearing in the ATTE advent calendar, and also the paper bags come with the European Lego magazines. This figure was the first to introduce the new Fate Phase 2 helmets. With holes which made the print around the fin of the helmet bow out and look really bad. The fact that LEGO can't even print the helmet print correctly this time even though they could do it fine a decade ago is maybe even worse because they decided to off falsely advertise it as well on the box side and the professional images of the sets. In second place is Vaughn from the 2023 332nd Battle Pack. While it is not good to have a named character in a battle pack, it is made even worse that this minifigure is crap because the Vaughn, Vaughn minifigure is just pure laziness on Lego's part. It looks exactly the same as the regular 332nd Trooper, bar the rank insignia, which is vastly inaccurate to the show. Not to mention the helmet print on Vaughn is worse than the 2023 32nd because of the new helmet mold. Overall, this minifigure can be summed up into one ward, which is laziness. In number one spot, the honor goes to the worst LEGO clone in existence is Fives from the upcoming 2024 reporting the Tanta 4 set. As a bonus figure to the set, he got a very negative reception when Fives was leaked earlier this year. Maybe just recency bias might be um, a part of this factor, but this is a horrible representation of Fives. The printing on the head is all off, and the pouch on the front of the chest is too big. The pauldron is flat and looks bad, and the, there is no waist cape either on him. Five, fives right here is the pinnacle of why clones are bad nowadays. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you um, got something out of this video. Uh, with that, see you next time. Peace out.